I'm going to show you two examples of what velocity means when related to MIDI, specifically MIDI note on velocity. A MIDI note can have a velocity ranging from 0 to 127. The harder you play, the higher the velocity, and the softer you play, the lower the velocity, although the response depends on how your keyboard is set up. Depending on the kind of VSTI you are using, different velocity levels can, for example, trigger different samples, open filters, or change the attack of a sound. Clever use of velocity can make your composition sound more dynamic and can help give your music an organic quality. For this example I'm going to use the electric piano patch. Playing the keyboard softly transmits a lower velocity and produces a more muffled sound. The harder I play, the higher the velocity and the more strident the sound. I'm going to record a piano part to show how Samplitude deals with velocity. Let's see what we have. The velocity levels are represented at the bottom in the Velocity Controller Editor. This can be opened and closed by clicking on the Velocity Controller Editor icon at the bottom left hand corner or the icon at the top left, or from the view menu. The velocity of these notes is represented by a vertical bar. The higher the bar, the higher the velocity. So the increase in height of these bars coincides with the increasing power with which I play the chords. This is also represented by the increasing colour density of the notes in the piano roll. To elaborate further on the subject of velocity, I will use Contact 4. I have the factory jazz kit loaded and I'm entering edit mode by clicking on the wrench icon. If I open the mapping editor, you can see how the kit is mapped. This particular kit uses extensive velocity switching. For example, the snare uses a total of 25 individual snare samples. These snare hits are mapped to velocity. Therefore, a different sample will be triggered based on how hard I play my keyboard. I'm going to grab the combi tool drum pencil first. This tool lets you enter multiple MIDI events by clicking and dragging. I'm also going to set the velocity value to 127. This means that all notes I enter will be at the highest velocity level of 127. The grid quantize value is set to 1 8th. The length quantize value is set to 1 16th. The snare is mapped to D1 on the keyboard. Hold down the H modifier to constrain vertical movement. Now left click and drag to enter the MIDI events. Go down to the Velocity Controller Editor and select the Line Drawing Tool. I'm now going to draw in a ramp from high to low. Now when I press play, keep an eye on the Contact Mapping Editor. As the velocity changes, a different snare sample will be triggered. I can also use the up and down arrows of my computer keyboard to move selected MIDI events vertically in the MIDI editor. When doing this, the velocity value of the last touch note will trigger the relevant sample. In this case, it's the note to the far right, and this has a velocity of 127. If I select another note, the velocity of this note will trigger the relevant sample when auditioning. If I select the freehand drawing tool, I can use this to shape my velocity curve to taste. 
Notice again how the varying velocity triggers the different samples in the mapping editor. Click on the MIDI event list icon to open the MIDI event list. This list will show information about the notes I have just entered. Working from left to right we have the note position based on bars, beats and ticks. A note on message was received from the MIDI keyboard and recorded at these positions. The MIDI channel is channel 1. The note number is 38 or D1 which is the snare drum and the final column shows the velocity level for each note.